What's up, everybody? Welcome back to you guys. One anime. My name is the Holy Apple, and we are carrying on to the final episode of Final Fantasy 16. So, just to give you a rundown, we did a lot of hunts in the previous part. We've got some areas on the map which we haven't unlocked because I imagine the end game content, like that's a Colosseum. No idea what's going to be there. That's a closed off random door. So again, I imagine it's end game, probably S rank hunts. But anyway. We now are going to progress on to Drake's Spine, which I suspect is going to be the final bit of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically pursue the main story from now until we actually get to the credit screen. So I don't know how long this part is going to be. Hopefully it's only going to be an hour, but we'll have to wait and see. But we'll just go straight into it and see how we get on. So do I. That's an ominous tile. I suspect they literally turned on each other and started killing each other when the king died, but I suppose we'll find out more Akashic. Quite a lot of Akashic. Get back. I think I'll actually have to swap to Shiva again in a minute because I like Shiva a lot more than Odin in this game to be honest. Even though Odin does a ton of damage, I just feel a lot more compatible with Shiva. And I do like the ad clear as well, so that is what I will do now. So, sorry about this if you are a fan of Odin, but I'm sorry, Shiva is just better in my eyes. And I can do a lot more damage with my own sword rather than Odin's blade. And Odin's um, triangle attack isn't that good to be honest but it's good to charge up the gauges and tetsuken but take away that and it's yeah, it's not very good <laughs> For. Yeah, this is not something I expected to be fighting, but they had to show up eventually. Thank <laughs> you. 
That stagger gauge has gone down so fast. Oh, you're not using Comet again. <laughs> that thing's deadly enough, thank you very much. So, 60k on the first stagger. Ecliptic Meteor, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to fire this one. I'll be honest, Joshua. I don't think you're going to be able to make a strong enough one for this. If you even can. Turn into ear for it. Punch it away. You'll be fine. Desperate times. Alive, no. Trust me. I'm your shield. Remember. Oh yeah, just use Jedi magic. Apparently, that also works. It's not even that big. <laughs> it's just deceptively big. Yeah, I did tell you this. Why would you turn to him, brother? <laughs> when we fight, we fight together. Just saying, if we would have solved this straight away. Kaboom! And now we carry on with the fight. <laughs> Need to remind you, this isn't even Ultima yet. That was just the beginning. Yeah, exactly. We still got Ultima to fight. Like this is just a behemoth. Odin was a stronger opponent. Anyway. Oh god, I don't like this, it's chasing me. Now I can use the lightning bolt. Still want to follow up with Shiva as well. Damn. Did not expect it to do that much stagger. And your bloody meteor. Nice try. Can I hardly see. Oh, my Lord. Joshua just got punted. Come on. I'm trying to like dodge two different things here. This one. I should have probably waited actually a bit. Oh well. Die now. 
Okay, okay, okay. I think it killed itself. <laughs> I definitely did not do the last one. But, oh well. Either way, it's dead now. That's the most important thing. Behemoth Shackles. No idea what these are for. Apparently used in crafting. Quickly, before we're cut off for good. If it is like the others, the entrance to the inner sanctum will be at the foot of the crystal. We're almost there. Ah! Lovely potion refills off my head as well. There might be twos actually, because normally, well, the ones I've been getting will loot. Never mind. I was going to say, they do come in twos, but apparently not. Bro, just four behemoth. Give me a break. <laughs> Saying that though, these are actually very weak. I do appreciate the fact that there's a le <laughs> 10 level deficit at this point. Come on, surround me. And now you're all dead. Also get my limit rate back as well. Well, for most of it anyway. Three K experience for that as well. Potions. Potion, but uh, not the one I was after. I assume it's down this way then. And that is the one I was after. Will of Ice. Something I'm not going to use, but oh well, appreciate it. Yeet. I believe I caught him and parried it. Alright, no chests skulking around here as far as I'm aware. Can't get up there, sandbags. All good. As long as I know there's not another area I can go, then it's fine. Pick up this item first, and then I'm going to charge for all of them. So there's two ways to go, actually. So many. They're all going to die in one go. But um, an achievement for that. I actually need to find out what achievement that was. It might have actually been kill a certain amount with diamond dust. But anyway, I'm gonna go grab all this extra XP while I'm here. Two and a half K, I will not say no. 
more craftable items that I will never use. I actually have a feeling that I'm missing something quite big when it comes to crafting because I have a stupid amount of materials and I've never used them <laughs> like in the entirety of the game. So I'm under the impression I'm missing something. And if that's the case, like if I can upgrade weapons and I've just not noticed, then yeah, it's kind of a big of a blip, big blunder. But if that is not the case, then it's not very well optimized. I hate to say. He should be able to depend on crafting for certain boosts and whatnot. Oh, one has a cannon. Okay, okay. Stagger. And now he dies. <laughs> I remember when they used to be quite a tough enemy. Not so much anymore. I don't know why this is still a thing. Just let me just let me press X and open the gate automatically. R2 is like so unnecessary. <laughs> Once we step onto that bridge, we'll be easy targets. Then we better move quickly. Oh, well, that was a pointless it's a cool scene. Thank you for that. <laughs> Are these getting weaker or something? Because I'm now just cutting them to pieces in like a couple of strikes. I know they're fodder, but still. <laughs> I think it's because it's at this point where you've killed so many enemies it might just be best to have loads of easy enemies and it also kind of makes Clive feel really powerful at this point as well and let's do this And then a bit of this. Yeah, I don't even see a point to use um, an ability, to be honest. I can even save some of the limit break as well, because I don't see the point in using all of it. <laughs> Being able to toggle it on and off like that is probably like, a really good feature. I don't see any other way. It's fine, we won't be in the castle for long. Well, at least we shouldn't be. If we are, then I'm a bit concerned. But we're just the Will of Light satellite. <laughs> okay. What is in the chest? 100 gil. And then that's pretty much the only useful thing in there. Um. Bloody hide. Hmm, okay. Hello, Fodder. How are you today? More Fodder. Glorious. We can use the second AoE attack. Okay, now that one just let me open that automatically. Cool. All right, mini boss, bring it on. I mean, it's something. Skewed that. Skewed that. Third time. There we go.
And now you're staggered. And now you die. <laughs> I got full up while I'm here as well. And now you're dead. <laughs> I didn't expect him to go down to the second stagger, but whatever, we'll take it. <laughs> this is why I like swapping to see Shiva, because it is just huge AoE, does a lot of damage. <laughs> so it just works for the combo I've got going. And it's got a ton of stagger, and it builds limit break back really quick. So kind of seems like a go-to. Can I actually upgrade Diamond Dust any more? Or now 500 off at the minute, so I will be upgrading Diamond Dust when I get the chance because it's becoming my favourite very, very slowly. Which is no surprise, actually. I'm a massive fan of Sheep, to be honest. Right, um, two and a half thousand gil. Like, I need more gil, but sure, why not? Uh, do, 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 do. I think it'll just literally be walking up to the bridge now, and then something else will happen. Well, there's more enemies. That kind of works. Try to grab the fifth one, Bulba. I want to say that the very the feature that you actually use potions straight away when you can't pick up any more is a really good idea. Uh, it's been it's literally a way to just regenerate your health straight away. And I imagine a lot of potions would have been left behind if they didn't do that. There so <sighs> yes, there are so many, but <laughs> I have abilities that take out many, so it's fine. <laughs> Full limit break back. Oh, they're all loads. There's loads, and it's just yeah, I'm just gonna charge through it using one ability. I don't think it is this way, but no, it is not. It is that way. Or it's the switch on the side of here for some reason. I was half hoping the gate would just collapse and fall, to be honest. I was like, eh, we can't do it that way. We're going to have to go up to the top and jump over. Oh, mini boss. Who have we got today? I mean, okay. <laughs> it literally just feels like, you know these guys? <laughs> yes, there's always more. You remember these guys? How about fighting two instead of one? <laughs> Ow. You might be right behind me, mate, but that's probably the worst place to be standing. Especially when I'm nailing, like, the other guy at the minute. Oh, 
I'm dead. I don't think I'll even have to prime for this, to be honest. The fact that Joshua gets a laser makes me a bit jealous. <laughs> I know I can use Bahamuts, but... Sheep is just a bit too good, I'm afraid. More! Okay, now that actually sounds like a lot more reasonable. I'm priming. <laughs> I've built my abilities up, so I guarantee you there's going to be even more after this. Yep. Jesus Christ, didn't they just never end? <laughs> In that case, I'm getting my limit break back, thank you very much. Or at least half of it. I'll, I'll sell half. Step. This guy's. I'll just do this. <laughs> Abusing lunge to break through. <laughs> ah, is that all of them? Mini boss, probably. I'm getting tired of fighting these guys. People probably. I keep forgetting you can't dodge sideways on that. after to be backwards. Okay. How did I miss that? Die, please. I have to start questioning how much health do they put in these bosses or mini bosses. Excellent. <laughs> just keep pushing the attack at that point. He's <laughs> just so low. <laughs> Another 12 and a half K. Not bad. And that actually puts me over on skill points to master diamond dust. Joshua. I'm summoning a freight. Stop, Kaip. You mustn't. We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have none left to destroy the heart. Then you'd rather die? Oh, <laughs> 
to see us how did you gav he told us exactly where you'd be even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall and when we saw the heavens come crashing down we had no choice but to believe him <laughs> it's been quite a day <laughs> so what do we owe this honor a debt i would see repaid prince dion it's good to see you well. So, this must be Ifrit. Your uncle bade me give you a message. Listen to your heart and guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. That is all. Thank you. For everything, Your Highness. Dion, please. You do realize the only thing we've freed so far is this wall from its foundations, right? Now, if your lord and ladyship's uh, quite finished. <laughs> well said, Gav. We have work to do. Okay, this strikes me as the point of no return, but hello, goats. You can sell stuff to me. This is how I can say to make you change your mind. So I'll just tell you to stay safe. Nan won't take kindly to losing her best customer, especially after letting us carry all this stuff all the way to Ash. And we wouldn't want to anger old Nan. You mean, you'll buy some of us? Let me show you me ways. I mean, yeah. Um, I don't think I actually need anything. Hmm? I wouldn't want to weigh you down, like. Weird. But, uh, yeah, so I've actually got four potions. I can't actually buy anything, got unfortunately. Everything you need, then. Alright, crafting station, there's nothing for me to craft. I'm. Anything else I can make for you? No, I'm literally done concerning you. I can't actually. Not resetting all, I've just realised what that does. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah, anyway. Shiva's Diamond Dust, maxing that out because it's so bloody powerful. Um, it look, that looks like what we're going to run with. Maxed Rama's Judgment Bolt and his Thunder Strike thing, because that's my favourite bits. Still haven't got um, Earth and Fury up at all from Titan, but I did get Raging Fist maxed. But we are pretty much set when it comes to abilities now. The only thing is literally Titan's thing, but I imagine this is the point of no return, so let's see what clear. you say. We're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. We've fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream. Our dream is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall, together. You all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. I... It seems our hosts would rather we remain. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you.
Joshua. Joshua, wake up. Clive, is that you? This... This isn't stone here. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. Ominous name. The Interdimensional Rift. Uh, judging by the way that I can't actually attack, this is going to be purely cinematic. So, I'm going to disable the webcam for this. And if I go straight into an Ultima fight, then, yeah, it'll stay off. But if not, then I'll come back. But still, I will be doing commentary as we go through. Kind of. If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. But if it was magic that caused the blight, what of the Mother Crystals? I expect he'll turn us soon enough. I get the feeling Ultimus is going to tell us that it's, it's like doing this noble thing to reset the world or something like that, but yeah, it does not fit well in my books. I have post-game enemies to kill still, so you're not resetting anything as far as I'm concerned. Still though, Skybox is quite cool here. It's like an endless chamber in a weird way. Oh, we're getting disorientated now. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, Valisthea. There, 
would the true work begin. For the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution. The illness having spread to every organ, there was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his god awaits, forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear humanity can join him so Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king and follow we shall for now Yeah, for now, boss, we um, don't really have a choice in the matter. And we're like, what would actually happen if we just decided to jump off the edge? Would we just fall to our death or would um, Ultima not like that and send us back? <laughs> we'll never know because I don't think Clive can jump. Yeah, invisible wall anyway. But yeah, the game wouldn't let us do that regardless. Because who would think about doing such a thing in this mystical. Amazing area with filled with story. To forge a new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his god's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource. And the land, she wept tears of black. You would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. Though we are one and the same. I mean, no, not really. I don't know if you've looked, Clive, but you do not have forearms. Or eyes that look like fish eyes. Which are very strange. Not only that, you can't transform either. Because that was also a very scarring... Uh, Cut scene to see with Barnabas and Ultima, but nonetheless, I'm gonna refresh that into my memory and I'm never gonna try and remember that again. But either way, I wonder, um, this is probably gonna mean that I can only craft the ultimate weapon in the pose game though, which is the unfortunate side to it. You 
is that? The fruit or what's left of him. Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. Valisthea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. My friends. My family. We have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed, it may be broken, but it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's ours. Bow down, Avengers. Hearts this day. The hell? Uh, that's a weird attack. Over here. Uh, 
Why can you use gravity, Max Magic? <laughs> and Ice Spears. Give me a break, man. Just go to me. Is he actually using all the attacks of the icons? Definitely feels like he is. That feels like Odin. The Ice Spear Shiva. Gravity Magic will be Typhon. That feels like Bahamut. That's Rama. Have you got black fire horns? so sarcastic when he gets staggered. Gifted this chance. And still you would raise your hand against the Lord. What now? The darkness bends. He means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. Your fate is Oh god, not more attacks like this! Quite surprised there's a parry point for that. Use Judgment Bolt, damn it. <laughs> Still sounds so sarcastic when he goes down. I have no abilities to use. You can use lasers now. And that's a form of hellfire. That's an ominous title. I suspect they literally turned on each other and started killing each other when the king died, but 
I suppose we'll find out more Akashic. What a lot of Akashic. Get back. I think I'll actually have to swap to Shiva again in a minute because I like Shiva a lot more than Odin in this game to be honest. Even though Odin does a ton of damage, I just feel a lot more compatible with Shiva. And I do like the ad clear as well, so that is what I will do now. So, sorry about this if you are a fan of Odin, but I'm sorry, Shiva is just better in my eyes. And I can do a lot more damage with my own sword rather than Odin's blade. And Odin's um, triangle attack isn't that good to be honest but it's good to charge up the gauges and tetsuken but take away that and it's yeah, it's not very good <laughs> absolution is nigh repent and all shall be forgiven Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These, these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No, no matter, matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind. Won't somebody save me? Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just... go away?
none of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... he has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place... Eh? And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? 
in the halls of origin does our true power quicken. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. So the crystals are no more, yet in their silence a new song rings, its chorus building, a crescendo as it enters its final movement, stirring those long a slumber to waking. And back to their origin. The crystals cracked, so where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that... ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving! Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I will be with you and none. Thank you. Tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine, and I'm going to need Otto's help. There's something about him.
Still, something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. this everyone as I'm sure you've all guessed the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima he called it origin now the significance of that name is as yet unclear what does it matter what it's called its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Vanistian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature that they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire. Our allies are crying out for answers. I've said the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new Mother Crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the Blight since the Crystal's appearance. Would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. faced him at stone here ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin needless to say we cannot allow that to continue if we are to stop him we will have to find a way into the crystal how are we going to manage that then he's up in the sky and fast as she is the enterprise can't fly It's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Thank you. Joshua seemed upset. Yeah, it'd be fine. But um, the answer to all our problems, we are literally standing in, in it. This, this is literally an airship that we're standing in. Not to mention you can just combine with Joshua to make it fly, and that's also solving the problem. But I did see you have a new recipe, so what can you make that's new? There's not anything there, no swords. Is that literally it? Circle of Heaven. The equipment that is actually... Hang on. That Defender Sword was stronger than my sword. 
What the hell? <laughs> and I can make it a plus two. Uh, uh, it's, okay, I'm, I'm not happy about that. But it gives it a reason to get the beam of shackle though. Ah, 790 were right. Okay, so there is a, a point to gathering that much then. Um, I mean, 15 extra damage. I'm not seeing is it worth it, if I'm being honest. Because I'm going to end up getting um, Gotaming before the final yes. boss anyway. What I'm planning on doing is I'm going to do the main story, obviously, and just keep going through. But when side quests do appear, which they will appear at some point or other, and other, the rest of the other hunts, I will play that separately and that will be in like a post part. So that'll just be all thrown into one as well. But still, main story. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, that may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? Yes. I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit, your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for.
We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. Speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. And has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. Eh, um, maybe. I wonder if um that does mean we're going to be taking Jill and Dion along with us and see if they actually prime. Because if we end up with four icons fighting them, I'm pretty sure it's going to do pretty well. But, uh, yeah, we'll wait and see. Hey, what are you doing near my chambers? Get out of here. Come to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Side quest. Nope, not gonna pay attention. Better make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Well, I say I'm not going to pay attention. What I'm actually going to do, because... Oh, Jesus Christ, there's so many. Uh, <laughs> no hunts, though. There's just loads of side quests. Um, right. What I'm going to do is, for you guys watching this part, obviously you're not going to see it, but I'm going to do all these side quests now. It's going to be an another part later down the line when I can also do the hunts. But I will basically do all of these, carry on with the main story, and you'll see that pretty much after this. So, shall see you in a bit. Right, after spending pretty much five hours going through all the side quests and the hunts, I am confident to say I've done them all now. Um, I'm not going to do the challenge stones because I've just done a bit of reading on them, and apparently they just give you accessories to make your ultimate abilities even stronger, which I don't need to be honest. I'm quite comfortable with what I have. Um, as it stands, I'm using Titan. I didn't manage to max out Earth and Fury, which is a bit of a shame. Shiva I'm using as well, Diamond Dust is maxed, which is what exactly what I need, and obviously Rama I've been using pretty much through the entire game at this point. So I am more or less set to make for Origin, so yeah, I'm not going to go and do that because, god, I I'm tired now and I want to get this game finished. If you see my dad up there, tell him we were right to leave his legacy with you. <laughs> tell him he'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. Well, behave yourself, Mitt. <laughs> we'll see.
So, you're in charge now, Gav. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? Sorry. Your Grace, I shall pray for your safe return. That's kind of you, but you should pray he took his medicine. I didn't spend all night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand. Again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Dyer. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece. Or... At most two. Any more and you can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that's never stopped me before. So just you do what needs doing. And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That we will. Hmm. If that is all? Not quite. Jill. It's time, isn't it? It is. Take care of him. <laughs> and you. You take care of her too, boy. Don't forget, Clive. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do. I know. I love you too. to kill.
Here they come. Hold on, Joshua. Already am. So, this is Origin. A far cry from heaven. Where it all began. Where it all begins. Our Ark. Your Architect. There you are. It was here that we slumbered, here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. But you have come at last. And now we shall be truly complete. Well, there's three of us and one of him. Let's make it count. <laughs>
Okay, I kept myself muted and the webcam off for all that. That better not be the end. I don't think it is, but we'll see. And you only surrender. This unpleasantness could have been avoided. Okay, Sephiroth, calm down. No. Did I mention you look terrible? <laughs> that makes two of us. Oh, I'll be all right. And Dion. I told you, I'll be...
Thank you. Press on. Always. I was literally about to say, I swear to God, you better not make me just move forward. <laughs> the most redundant section of the game so far. That, and I'm slightly losing my patience because I've been playing this for like seven hours now. <laughs> I'm sorry about Dion. Don't be. Please. He did what he had to do. Then it's time we did the same. Yeah, oh, both of you shut up. Dion's probably alive. I don't think he would have died from falling, of all things, I'll put it that way. Should we stop? Nope. We ain't because stopping. Of the cough. No, I think we're past that, Clive. <laughs> I suppose we are. Although I am kind of questioning. I'll oh, shut the hell up. So empty. We're close. Okay. Yes, of course we're close. Where do you think we would be? Um. Seems that way. But I, I am questioning like the one-winged angel for it though. Than think instead of those waiting for us at home. Oh, for sure. Just yeah, go away. So I severely doubt it has any ties to Final Fantasy VII, but still, nice little touch, I suppose. self-preservation you condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death alone him alone life I think I understand he It 
was me. But it wasn't my grasp that grew weaker. It was theirs that grew stronger. of the destructive flames of Ifrit and the healing flames of the Phoenix. This, I once believed, would be Ultima's true form. But I was wrong. I see it now. Why you will never become Ultima's vessel. I don't care. Just hold on. Listen to me, Clive. You remember the murals. People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him, looked to him for guidance. In vain. In vain. For he did not listen, did not acknowledge our will. And so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith. The same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, that you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pole was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, but so is ours, and so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. Joshua! Don't, don't do it, you Enough, Clive. My body is too far gone. If the wound does not take me, the curse will. Look at me. Look at me, Joshua. 
Open your eyes! Open your eyes, Damien! Why? Why did you do this? Don't try. <laughs> and thus does the final piece fall into place. The incantation primed, but one task remains. To empty the vessel. Still here with me to the end. Even now, you would deny the inevitable. Okay, time to take out this Sephiroth wannabe. Okay. Okay. Why'd you have the Dragoon moveset? It's just not fair. And he has flare. Brilliant. And he knows holy. Brilliant! He just knows all the top tier magic. Kick his ass, Clive. And I shall see it so. For such is my will. 
And he knows ultimate. Of course he does. Hey, 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 man. You're not making this easy. He's got quite low health, all things considered. Stagger. Oh, no. Why are you... Why are you doing this to me? Just access to every powerful spell in the game. Smart air for crying out loud, man. Just gotta use this. Cocaine. I sense more hair than mere will. Is this no cost? Have you truly become free? No, I forbid it. You are not a god. You are but flesh and bone. You are not one of us. Dude, how many wings do you want? Seriously. Is mine, is mine to destroy. You are literally a Sephiroth ripoff. Once perhaps. But we are no longer yours. Our flames are our own, and they burn as one! Okay, okay. Let's try to remember the controls for this. Have a break, man. Please die. The fact that you have attack called the Raptor is a bit cheesy. Are you making up names for these moves now? I swear to God. A bit delayed on the dodging on that last one. Hello? Where'd he go?
Purgatorium. What the hell does that even mean? Forty seconds. <laughs> Come on! Man, I can't even get close at this point. Jesus Christ. Now die, please. exposed what you were weak you conceived us to prove otherwise but the result shook you to the core for in us you saw yourself and realized we had the potential to be more than you could ever be and so you turned your back on your creation your back on the world like the coward you are you think you know me you know nothing logos nothing <laughs>
Bathed in light, I stand above you, my rebirth complete. And you, for your defiance, shall pay the proper price. An eternity of anguish. Anguish. Pain. Suffering. You have known none of these. But we have. So we know what they grant. They bring us together. And that makes us strong. Well, three-faced fight. Kind of called it. Three combo on that. Hold up, that's a bad idea. Back up, back up. You can use. Oh, that is just. That is not fair. <laughs> that's not fair! <laughs> No one said you could use Titan. Only I could use Titan. Oh god. That's Garuda. Brilliant. Uno, dos. And tres. Okay, I'm gonna use this then. Ah, uh, might be a bad idea. No. Yes, cinematic. Stop, we Garuda. Unless we're gonna fight par for par on every single one. <laughs> Could see this coming a mile off. Do what I want, mate. He's a lot weaker than when he was using them earlier. I remember Smite dealing a lot of extra play. Oh god! <laughs> and he's still using it. Excuse me? Where did that explosion come from? But yeah, that uh, movie. I think I just missed with that. Yeah, some of his moves that he used earlier are a lot weaker now than they were back then. I suppose gotta make a balance somehow. Unless it's Exa Flare. Exa Flare seems to be able to just keep going. Bro! You're not putting me in a corner! Oh god, of course you've got an Odin attack. At least I know now his next three are gonna be Bahamut, Shiva, and Odin. No, 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 no. Bro, 
I'm getting very tired of this very quickly. <laughs> Fucking exit flare, piss off. Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud, man. It's awkward because these specific attacks aren't really good for using a Titan's counter on. However, this might be. <laughs> if it actually did nail it in. Never mind. Get out of the ice zone. Rava. Kami, Kami. <laughs> That's my boy. I was hoping for diamond dust, I'm not gonna lie. Darkness unending. Odin. That'd be funny, this is the one power you should be able to outdo me on. You're not allowed to use a limit break. And yet still you cannot see. You are no better than us. We are one and the same. We are not the same. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Come on, come on. Ow. Ow. Again, with this shit. Bombard the hell out of him now. Yeah. And now he's using Phoenix's power. Ow. Stagger one. You are taking the piss, my friend. I don't even know how I'm meant to dodge this one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I'm literally just having to help heal it now. Like, he is way too much damage at the moment. Of course, he teleports. Never seem to dodge that one attack. Stop it. Gonna stop it. It's keep dodging. <laughs> Get out of the way. Now, please, just die already. 
This isn't even gonna make it. There's like so much health left. One more round. those below. You chose to remain alone. And so you shunned the one thing that could have made you stronger. Pushed away the hands that could have raised you higher. I do not need you. You are anyone. And that is where we are different. I could not have made it here on my own. I carry with me the hopes and dreams of my brothers, my sisters. And it is they who will give me the strength to end your reign. I cannot end. You will end. You'll end right now because I'm getting sick of your goddamn face. Dead. Final fantasy. The only fantasy here is yours. And we shall be its final witness. Hey, is it the words? I said it's over. will befall this world now that you have gained your precious freedom I honestly don't know and I doubt it will be pretty a sorry tale of sin and suffering hardship and pain and it was for this that you fought so fiercely why it's who we are We fight, we survive, we endure. We don't need a reason. We are imperfect creatures. When we stumble, we reach for a shoulder to lean on. When we fall, we stand back up. We see the horizon ever out of reach and still we march on. Certain the answers lie just beyond it. Because that is our way.
congratulations. Relish this victory, knowing that you have but delayed the inevitable. Your world is already dead. May you enjoy an eternity on its blackened husk.
It seems Ultima's power was too great for this vessel all along. For all I have it. Perhaps I can use it to set things right. And see Ultima's legacy. Bearers, dominance, crystals, magic. Consigned to the flames. Even if it means the end of me. isn't he? What are you gonna call him? Let me see, let me see. Oh, read little one. Got a smile for your Uncle Gov. Not so loud, you bird. What? I was only... Shh. You're scaring him. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> A sky of scattered tears, a thousand years apart. Should they fade, I will not be afraid of the dark. For if you need a rest, I can take it. I'll hold you. 
hold you to that. The world's yours now. Yours to do with as you please. That's what Sid wanted. That's what they both wanted. <laughs> journey end. Will you light it? Yes, Mother. <sighs> Come on. If only I had the flames of an icon. Icon? Have you been reading that silly story again? <laughs> Magic belongs in fairy tales, and fairy tales don't boil kettles. You see? Well done. Now, be a good lad, and play with your brother until supper. Come on, hurry, hurry! All right. Right, let's play the saint in the sector. No, I don't want to be Madu. What do you want to play then? War of the Icons. Again? Oh, right. And I get to be a freak. Right, I'm the older brother. Perhaps the Hermit says so. Well, that is pretty much the end of Final Fantasy 16. It does say that there's a Final Fantasy mode, and I get the level cap unlocked to 100. Apparently, it might have actually been capped to 50, but I was at 49. It was close enough. So, new gear and items, apparently, and mode-exclusive content. I am quite curious to see what that is. Whether or not I actually make a video on it or do playthrough on it, I'm not entirely sure. Probably not. I just kind of want to see what it says. If anything interesting happens, maybe I'll consider doing it. I'll have to read into it, but anyway. As far as Final Fantasy 16 is concerned with the playthrough, it is finished. Done. Because, my god, it's been a long haul. I've basically just rushed it all out because Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is literally around the corner. And it needed to be done. So, yeah. But, without further ado, thank you very much for watching the entire series. If you have been watching the series, or if you've just bought one or two parts, still very much appreciate it. Obviously, as always, leave a like and a comment down below telling me what you thought and what you thought about Final Fantasy 16 as a whole. It'd be 
not to get a description given actually about that. But anyway, I shall see you all in basically two days from when this goes up, when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes out, and the first part of that will be going live. It will be a two-hour part, so I hope you all enjoy. But for now, I shall see you all in the next episode.